There is a new player in the commercial space station game, and they have partnered up with SpaceX to leapfrog the competition and establish the first privately owned outpost in low Earth orbit. The Haven 1 is a habitation module designed by aerospace newcomers VAST. They've got a bold plan to establish their first operational space station by 2025, and it's being made possible with a lot of help from SpaceX and their Crew Dragon vehicle. While their initial goals might be relatively small in scale, VAST has big dreams for the future of life in outer space. Everything from generating the first artificial gravity to colonizing the entire solar system. This is The Space Race. Let's start off with the exciting stuff here. The Vast Haven 1 module is basically like the most minimalist space station design possible, and that's how they are realistically planning to get this thing into orbit by August 2025. At 3.8 meters in diameter and 10.1 meters in height, Vast is squeezing as much as they possibly can into the cargo fairing of the SpaceX Falcon 9. That is going to give them a pressurized volume of 70 cubic meters. The module is powered by four solar arrays generating 15,000 watts of electricity, and the orbit will sit at around 310 miles above the surface, just slightly higher than the ISS. Weighing in at 14 metric tons, this will be one of the heaviest payloads deployed by a Falcon 9, but still well within the rocket's capability. In terms of operating features, all we know about the Haven 1 right now is that it will have a circular viewing window at one end with a thrust section and docking port for the Crew Dragon at the other. Aside from that, all we are really seeing is a grey windowless tube, which on its own does not inspire confidence, but that's where SpaceX comes in. Not only is SpaceX providing the launch vehicle to get Haven into orbit, they are also going to be doing the heavy lifting when it comes to the logistics of actually operating a crewed space station. Obviously, getting people to and from orbit safely is a major concern, and for that, SpaceX is providing VAST with the use of a Crew Dragon space capsule along with the SpaceX flight suits and even astronaut training for VAST customers. And once Dragon is docked with Haven 1, the SpaceX capsule will remain powered on to function as a key component of the station. According to a report from Ars Technica, Dragon will be at least partially responsible for providing life support systems to the Haven module in addition to water and, quote, other services needed to keep humans alive. So on its own, Haven is not a self-sustaining habitat, but paired with the capabilities that SpaceX has already developed for Crew Dragon, it should actually be a pretty nice place for a crew of four people to live for up to 30 days. The Dragon also adds another 10 cubic meters of pressurized volume to the station and a couple extra windows. If you want an analogy, I almost look at the Haven 1 as a sort of camper attachment for the Crew Dragon. It just allows people to spend a much longer period of time in space in a much higher level of comfort. The Inspiration 4 crew, the one from the Netflix show, spent just under 72 hours living in the Dragon capsule, and you could tell that was about the longest time you could reasonably keep four non-professional astronauts confined to such a small space. And that's the kind of market that VAST are targeting with Haven 1. They want this to be a place that allows ordinary people to visit low Earth orbit provided they are extremely wealthy, of course, or at least funded by someone who is. VAST doesn't list a price on their website, but they are actively trying to sell three seats on their inaugural flight to Haven 1. Presumably, the fourth seat will be taken up by a flight commander with at least some amount of aerospace experience, just like the Inspiration4 mission. So that's all very cool and practical, but the really exciting thing here is VAST's mission for the future. The long-term goal for this company is to support billions of people living in space across the entire solar system, utilizing resources taken from distant asteroids, moons, and planets. If we learn to harness the resources of the solar system, then we can grow the human population to incredible size while preserving our home planet in its natural state. That's going to require in-space infrastructure and industry on an unparalleled scale. To help accomplish this, VAST wants to create gigantic artificial gravity habitats 
that can be deployed throughout the solar system. They make artificial gravity a key priority because it's going to be essential to allowing people to survive and thrive while living in space for very long periods of time. Without gravity, the body atrophies and we lose muscle, bone density, suffer immune system disorder, and even brain damage. Vast's solution is to substitute gravity with centrifugal force. Pretty basic physics here that we're all familiar with. If you spin the habitat, it's going to create a force that will pull down towards the floor and simulate the effect of gravity. It's still not actual gravity, and we don't know how the body will respond to this environment long term, but it's almost certainly a lot better than free floating in zero G. VAST has an ambitious plan to deploy their first large-scale rotating space station by the 2040s. They've only got a rough design in place at the moment, but it looks almost identical to the space station from Kubrick's 2001 A Space Odyssey. As an interim design in between Haven 1 and the full-scale space colony, VAST has plans for a Starship-class habitat module. These are targeted for 2028 and will rely on the massive fairing size and heavy lift capability of the new SpaceX Starship. This will allow an increase in diameter to 7 meters. Then into the 2030s, VAST plans to leverage the low cost and high launch cadence of the Starship to deploy 7 of these Starship class modules that would be linked together to form a 100 meter long space station that they call the Spinning Stick. The station would tumble end over end to simulate various gravity conditions ranging from the Earth to Mars to the Moon and even asteroid gravity. Each spinning stick could accommodate up to 40 people. VAST is so confident about their centrifugal gravity simulation that they actually want to attempt some test runs with the Haven 1. Now, the smaller a vessel is, the faster it would have to spin to generate centrifugal force, so they're not going to try and achieve Earth gravity in Haven, but they will be aiming to simulate moon gravity, which is about one-sixth of a G. At this point, you might be wondering just where VAST even came from and where they are getting the money to do all of this. The company was only founded in 2021, and they've managed to jump straight into the space station game. The guy behind all of this is a computer programmer named Jed McCaleb. And depending on how involved you've been with cryptocurrency over the past decade, you might already know him. Jed got his start by designing a peer-to-peer -peer file sharing network in the year 2000 called eDonkey. It was the same deal as LimeWire or Napster, an application to help you pirate songs and movies and other stuff. By 2006, eDonkey was sued into oblivion by the Recording Industry Association of America. There's a massive high school flashback right there, the good old days. Anyway, in 2007, Jed moved on to founding an infamous website called Mount Gox. Now, when he first launched it, the site was supposed to be used for trading magic cards, but by 2010, Jed had converted Mt. Gox into a Bitcoin exchange. Mt. Gox would go on to spontaneously collapse in 2014 and take hundreds of millions of investors' money along with it. Similar deal to what happened with Sam Bankman-Fried and FTX. But it's important to note that Jed sold ownership in the exchange years before it fell apart, so it's probably not his fault. Moving on from that, Jed McCaleb then went on to develop Ripple which is a cryptocurrency protocol. It was one of the early proof of stake or consensus networks. The native token to Ripple is XRP, and it remains as one of the top 10 cryptocurrencies on the global market. Then Jed went on to found another crypto protocol named Stellar. It was through the crypto world that Jed was able to make an epic pile of money. According to Forbes in March, 2023, his net worth is $2.4 billion. Now, this is important because just like with Elon Musk, Jed has used his riches to hire a stellar engineering team for VAST and has already acquired another startup company called Launcher to supplement VAST with an established set of talent that can accelerate their in-house manufacturing and development capabilities, as well as bring spacecraft technologies like the Launcher Orbiter Space Tug. Fuel the content you love with the Tesla Space and Space Race store. The store will be live on Sunday, May 28th, but here's how you can get exclusive early access and discount codes. All you've got to do is visit shop.theteslaspace.com or click the link in the description and sign up with your email. On Saturday, May 27th, you'll receive an email with your one-time discount code and a password to access the site before everyone else. So. Don't miss out, head over to shop.theteslaspace.com now to reserve your spot. 
but Caleb has a very similar philosophy about the importance of space travel to Musk, and he's even managed to secure the talents of some former SpaceX engineers at Vast, including former SpaceX Vice President Hans Koenigsmann as a chief advisor to McCaleb. Vast currently has a roster of 120 employees and headquarters in Long Beach, California that will provide them 115,000 square feet of space for engineering, manufacturing, and administration. So this company is the real deal. They are highly ambitious and they are already talking a big game, but they also have the money and talent to back it up. They've already got SpaceX, fully on board as a major partner to support their technology and future spaceflight missions. So VAST might actually be our new best hope at seeing a viable commercial space station before the end of this decade. Meet us back here every week for more updates on everything aerospace industry and interstellar exploration related. Make sure to give the video a thumbs up today if you liked it, that really helps us out for real and subscribe to the Space Race for more videos just like this. We do one long form essay and one news update every week. And if you'd like more, we've got two more on the screen for you right now.